Good evening and welcome to the club. One of the stars of the great win against Adelaide on the weekend was Tyson Goldsack. He joins me in the studio. Tyson, welcome. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me. Now explain this to me. In five years at Collingwood, you had a grand total of seven goals, but heading into round 10, you are second on the goal kicking. Is it possible that Mick Malthouse played you out of position for all those years? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a bit of a joke on that high up, actually, but <laughs> it's, it's working out all right for me, so hopefully, hopefully it keeps going on that way. Now, your roll up forward, was that just something that was discussed pre-season? Uh, no, it was, it was more earmarked for a wing position. Um, so a wing that can go defensive um, at times when needed. Uh, but then I think it was against the, the Essendon game, Anzac Day, that they had Dustin Fletcher down forward. No, sorry, down back for them, up forward for us. Um, and he was playing some good footy, so I was used as a, as a defensive role on him. And then just happened to stay up there and kick a couple of goals on the way. Did you play up forward as a junior? A little bit, not a whole heap. I was I was a very average junior, so it doesn't really count, I don't think. But um, I don't know where I was playing. But um, yeah, a little bit, but then more kind of yeah, half back as well through through juniors. Was the roll up forward to anything to fill the void with Lee Brown moving on? Because you know he likes a bit of argy bargy and uh, likes to kick goals a bit like yourself. Is that something that was sort of worked into the mix as well? Uh, a, a little bit, I guess. We we like the the forward pressure, so the longer we can keep the ball in our forward half, the better it is for us, and the more chance we get a scoring. So um, I think the the defensive pressure they can bring to the forward line, um, I suppose, helps us out. But Lee Brown's got a little bit more weight than me to throw around, so I might have to work on that. It was a great win on the weekend. One of the downsides was Lockie Keefe going down. Yeah. Um, but there is some good news on that front too. Yeah, he's just signed a, a two-year deal with us, so that's good. He's worked really hard to get to where he was, and he was playing some awesome footy this year. So the fact that he's signed on for another couple of years is really good for the club and, and really good for him. Uh, are your days up numbered a little bit limited, maybe with uh, Reed, Tarrant, and Brown? You know, coming back into the side soon. Well, yeah, I was hoping I don't have to go down back. I mean, I do like it. I do like it down back, but hopefully I can stay up forward and, and they can come in sooner rather than later and play that defensive role. Now, your mum had a huge win on your. Uh, it was the goal in the 2010 replay. You were yeah. at huge odds. Yep, a little bit is controversial, she, but yeah. Has <laughs> she got? <laughs> A little wager on you for the uh, for the Coleman medal this year, maybe? <laughs> nah, she definitely does. I think she learned her lesson the first time um, with the media around that. But um, she doesn't bet much. I think she puts 50 cents on the Melbourne Cup. Um, each way, of course. <laughs> she doesn't want to go straight out. But um, And then on the grand final as well. So that's the only bet she's had for a while. And I think she's going to keep it that way. Well, good luck for uh, the game against the Gold Coast this week. Yeah, um, it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be a little interesting, I think. It's, uh, yeah. they're not, we can't sort of relax, can we? No. I guess every team wants to beat Collingwood, um, it's the way it is, and, and we're going to have a good crowd, and it's probably the best crowd that they'll, they'll get, um, the Gold Coast, so they'll, they'll come out to play, and, and they, can, they can play pretty good footy, I mean, they're, they're really attacking style, and they can move the footy quick, so yeah, we'll have to be on our game, and hopefully we'll get the four points and keep the momentum going. Well, mate, thanks for joining us in the studio, and good luck for the weekend. Thanks for having me. Now, the game on Saturday night against Adelaide was for the Westpac Cup, and last week, Scott Pendlebury got a bird's eye view of some of the critical work that Westpac does with life-saving Victoria. G'day guys, Scott Penelbury here. Uh, this week, as you know, it's the Westpac Cup versus Adelaide. Um, great initiative by Westpac to sponsor the life-saving and one of the perks as an ambassador for Westpac, I get to come down and go up in this chopper today and um, hopefully see some sharks out in the water. Can I fly when we're up there? Uh, can I play on the ball against Adelaide on Saturday? Uh, I guess that's a no for both of us then, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so the aircraft currently warming up. Okay, warming up. We can perform uh, very effective patrols from up here, uh, looking for such thing as our big uh, friendly friends in the water, our sharks or uh, any swimmers, rock fishermen, anyone who might need our help. Uh, we've got permission to fly, uh, uh, an exemption to fly lower than that limit over the beaches uh, for patrolling, patrolling use and then uh, when we're actually rescuing we'll go down on the lowest uh, 10 feet over the water to release the swimmers. Well, Paul, our pilot's a big Collingwood supporter, mate. I think you'd be a little bit upset if we had to come and get you one day. Yeah, well, nice if you could drop me out the G one time. Thanks, 
Take it easy. Well, there you go. Bird's eye view, eh? Pretty impressive. Yeah, it was the first time in a helicopter, and uh, it wasn't. I uh, didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, it was really cool. It's obviously uh, really important, the Westpac chopper, and uh, the boys really appreciative that it gets funded by Westpac, and uh, they said that they've uh, done quite a few, both of them, uh, rescues out there, and uh, if it wasn't for the Westpac chopper, you know, they'd be it'd make it a lot more difficult for them. Thank you.